Today, let's chat about changing the canvas size in Adobe Illustrator. The canvas in Illustrator is also known as the artboard, and you can have multiple artboards. So if we hop right into Illustrator here, before we even start a new document, we wanna make sure that we have it sized correctly. On the right-hand side, you'll see you have a width and a height. You can change these with the different templates that are already presented and also the different template categories up here like mobile, web, print, etc. You can set your units, so let's say pixels, and then you could set your width and your height here. 1920 by 1080, that standard HD size, and then also the number of artboards. So Illustrator is going to allow you to have multiple canvases. So in Photoshop, you kind of have one canvas, although you can do artboards in Photoshop now, but that's for another tutorial. In Illustrator, you can have multiple artboards. To change the size of those individually, you'll have to do it inside of the document itself. So let's set this to two artboards and take a look at how to change those individually. All right, so we're gonna create this document. It's gonna have two artboards out here at 1920 by 1080. Now off the rip, we wanna make sure we have the properties panel open. If you don't see it, go up to window down to workspace and set it to essentials. And then I'm going to reset essentials because we've moved these panels around. And if we set it to essentials and reset essentials, now we're all on the same workspace. On the right hand side, you'll notice a properties tab and you can change those units again over here. You can select which artboard is active. So I could select the second artboard or the first artboard and it's gonna switch back and forth between them. You can also edit artboards over here. So now we're, we've entered into the edit artboard mode. Artboards being our canvases, of course. We can click on them individually. We can add new artboards just by clicking and dragging out here to add an artboard of any size we want. Once we click on an artboard, notice the transform area over here. We can set the width and the height to be the values we want them to be. So for instance, if I wanted this to be square, I could set it to 1080 by 1080, hit return or enter, and it changes that artboard to that size. I can also grab the corners and just transform this artboard any way that I want to. And I can have all these artboards on here. We can uh, name them, have custom preset sizes. Those are available here still. We can add new artboards based on the one we have selected. So for instance, it just adds another artboard just like this one out to the side. So if I wanted one more narrow like this, I can click this plus button, adds one to the right here. Also, we have artboard options. So this is artboard five we have selected. You notice everything else is grayed out and we can select all of these options for it. We're mainly looking at the sizing. We can also rearrange all. So if we wanted these to be in amount of columns and certain spacing and then the layout itself, we can hit okay. And it's gonna rearrange all of our artboards. Now some of that is more than what this tutorial called for. We were just looking at how to resize our artboards or our canvas in Adobe Illustrator. And maybe specifically, if you already have an Illustrator document open, you can get into the artboards just like that. Now, if we look back here and we actually exit the artboard mode, which is just with that button right there, there's actually a button here on the left-hand side to get us back into that mode, and that's the artboard tool. Shift plus O is the shortcut key for that, and I use that shortcut key quite a bit to get into this artboard editing mode. It's the exact same mode as if we clicked on that button in our properties panel over here to the right. Now, one thing you might see is this little check mark box that says move artwork with artboard. If you have artwork on your artboards, which you may very well have, it's going to move with the artboard if you're moving these things around, unless you uncheck that. Depending on your document, you may want that to move, you may want it not to move. But that is how to change the size of your canvas or your artboard here in Adobe Illustrator. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more Illustrator tutorials, and I'll see you guys next time.